The market decline in August 2015 marked the first correction in over four years. Typically, market corrections, or asset price declines of 10 to 20 percent, occur about once a year. Market corrections happen when securities get overpriced relative to their intrinsic value. What causes market corrections? Could be any one of several reasons, such as buyers who think the price will always go up, a change in the underlying securities fundamentals, or macro reasons, for example, concerns over another nation's growth or economic prospects. The past four years have been highly unusual in that the market dips only 3 to 5 percent and then buyers step in to prop up the market, making it seem like the market will go up forever. Even over the past 20 years, the market has not followed a straight path. The market has paused on its march upwards. On a monthly basis, the market finishes up about 65 percent of the time. When the market finishes down, it's typically just a dip or decline of less than 5 percent. About once a year, the dip turns into a correction or decline of 10 to 20 percent and can even roll into a bear market or decline of greater than 20 percent. It remains too early to tell whether we're experiencing an overdue, highly volatile market correction or if the market is discounting a pending recession and headed into a true bear market. We think corrections are good for markets. They weed out speculators, allow people to rationally adjust their return expectations, and create opportunity for new money to flow into the market. Prices can correct in a couple different ways. One is by a sharp decline, followed by a slow rise back to the correct price. Another way is a slow decline. And a third way is a time decay, where your investment just trades sideways around a fixed price. In recent history, we've seen lots of sharp V-bottom dips and recoveries. These are not typical. A typical recovery is a W-bottom, where the market price drops, then rebounds slightly, then falls back down to test the lows set at the first drop, and then recovers from the second low. Common investor mistakes are to sell at the bottom of the correction and then not get back in as the market rebounds, to hold on to losing positions as the market continues to slide, or to try to catch a falling knife or double down on a losing position, or to move from a more aggressive portfolio to a more conservative portfolio. Market declines highlight a couple of risks for investors, lack of diversification and illiquidity. An investor with a lack of diversification, who holds too much of his portfolio and a handful of overvalued securities, will see his portfolio decline more than the market, while another investor may find she suddenly owns assets with no liquidity. She is not able to sell her position during a price decline. When markets decline, should you change your portfolio? We don't think so. We recommend sticking with the one you're currently in. If this is the first market correction you've experienced, you may want to go back through our risk tolerance questionnaire. As designed, our defensive algorithms have your portfolio sitting on the sidelines in cash. We got you out because we don't know if this correction will turn into a bear market. When equity markets behave this way, the Artesis defensive approach focuses on protection of principle. One of the drawbacks to a defensive system is that markets can rise while we're sitting on the sidelines in cash. However, if the market continues to decline, you will not lose any more assets. Artesis does not expect to get out at the top or to get back in at the bottom. How will Artesis Defensive know the right time to get back in? When markets stabilize, prices start to rise, and the likelihood of a bear market has subsided, then the defensive algorithms will generate buy signals.